How is it going everyone and welcome to day 7 I believe of my uh, 12 tips of Christmas and if you're wondering why I didn't upload Saturday basically I was very busy and I only uploaded one tutorial yesterday so that was day 6 so that'll mean you're probably thinking well you've missed a tutorial well no what I'm going to do is um, on Christmas Eve uh, I'm going to upload two so I'll probably upload a tutorial and then I'll probably give something away I'm not sure what but yeah that's how it's going to work so yeah, anyway, today we're going to be talking about After Effects render settings and like the best settings you can use uh, for like the fastest render and for the smallest files. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to get like a really fast render. And uh, so if I go here, here's my composition. Now let's just pretend that I'm done with this composition and I want to render it. Uh, most of us know that uh, if you if you're not new to After Effects, you'll know to render you go to composition and add to render queue. So we're going to click that. And uh, basically, I've already got a render in there, but that was. I'll just, yeah, there we go, I deleted it. So, there we go, I've got my render in my render queue. Now, we're going to click where it says output module, we're going to click lossless. And where it says quicktime uh, format, we're going to change that to quicktime movie. Mine's already on that, yours probably will be as well. Uh, and then where it says format options, you're just going to click that. And then compression type, we're going to go down to H.264. Frames per second, it should be at what? Like, what it's normally at. Mine's 30. I think it should be a 25 actually. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, and quality best and limit data range, and you're going to change that to 10,000. Like so, and click OK. And that'll just, I, that comes up on mine, I just click OK. And then audio output, I'm just going to click that. Now these settings, I click render, and then I'm going to push the caps lock button, and this should be a pretty fast render, as you can see. Uh, this is about a minute clip. A two minute no. However long it is basically. Um it's only gonna take like five minutes. And uh, it'll take even less be if I wasn't recording. But well, because I'm recording then my this program takes up a bit of RAM. So yeah, that's a my really that's a really fast render setting. Um uh, and another one I will show you now. Okay, so my second setting is uh one which I've shown in a previous tutorial, but I just wanted to reiterate it in case you haven't seen that. And uh, this is how to get like the best settings for YouTube, so you'll have a really small file, and it's a pretty awesome, basically, render setting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on, obviously, com Composition, Add to Render Queue, I'm just going to delete the previous one, and we're going to go where it says Output Module, Lossless, click that, Format this time, instead of QuickTime we're going to go to H.264. Now, not everyone has that, so this won't work for everyone. So, I would recommend doing the previous one if you don't have H.264. Now, where it says format options, we're going to click that and we're going to ch uh, copy down my settings here. So, frame rate 60, uh, aspect ratio 69, profile high, level 5.1. Um, where it says bit rate encoding, you're going to go to VBR one pass. Target bit rate is going to be 6, maximum bit rate is going to be 9, and uh, if I just go up, go to audio, audio AAC, uh, 48 kilohertz, and audio quality high, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and bit rate is 192, and the multiplexer, just keep that as MP4 and standard, and just that's it. So just click OK, and then click OK once the audio is checked. So then that one's not the fastest render setting, but it's a very good one, and uh, you'll get small files. Actually, it is quite quick. But, um, yeah, so if you enjoyed that video, uh, please leave a like, and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.